Hi folks, we're in Dundee today and we're walking to the airport for a wee hop across the Irish Channel. We've got a lot of travel to do today and you're coming with me, so let's get going. Now you might ask why are we doing this trip today? Well do you remember a few weeks ago in the Kintyre 66 video when I was down at the Mulla Kintyre Lighthouse and I was amazed at how close Northern Ireland was to Scotland? Well today we're heading over to the other side and we're going to see what Scotland looks like from Northern Ireland. Please, fingers crossed, we get some good weather and clear visibility. The flight segment of this trip was pretty special to me. It was both the first time I'd flown from Dundee Airport and the first time I'd stepped aboard an ATR-42. So I think it's only right that I go back to my roots and bring you a full flight review dedicated to this 40 minute hop across the sea to Belfast. Look out for that one next week. Welcome to Belfast folks, and explore Northern Ireland, indeed we will. Please select payment type. I caught the airport bus just to save a bit of time, but let's be honest, like in Dundee, this would have been an easy walk. Well, the airport bus took no time at all, and that's us now in Oxford Street in Belfast. And we've got another two buses to catch today to try and get right to the top of Northern Ireland at Bally Castle. From there, we'll find somewhere to stay, and then tomorrow, we'll try and get a nice view out over Scotland. Nicest bus driver in the world, by the way. He actually got off the bus to show me where to go next. But I'm really used to that over here. Northern Ireland, the people here are so friendly. Right, the guy in the airport bus was saying, try the bus centre first, but I don't see what I'm looking for on the destinations board in there. But I tell you what, just at a time when I've been slagging off bus stations for being really dirty, horrible places, that one was grand. I really like Belfast. It's hard to describe, but the place has got spirit. And then when the sun shines, it's even nicer. But today I'm gonna do something I've never done before, and that's break free from the city. Now I think I get my first bus on Bridge Street and is this Bridge Street? Yes it is! Okay, so I had a wee bit of time to go and get some supplies and everything's very chilled at the moment but this is where it could all begin to unravel because like I say, I've got to get two buses to get to Bally Castle tonight and that means a connection in Ballymena with only five minutes connection time and from what I can see, this is the only service that will get me there tonight and I've got a room booked there so I've really got to make this connection. Wish me luck. Still waiting. Hi mate. Uh, Ballymena first and then on to Bally Castle. Nice one, cheers. That was bang on time. Here's hoping it stays that way. Right, I'm at Ballymena and I can actually get the bus from here. The driver actually just jumped off the coach and went and checked for me. So I can get on the 131 now to Ballycastle. 
Thanks very much, mate. Hey, Thanks, mate. So there goes my bus, and I'm very pleased to say we've made it to Ballycastle this evening. So what I'll do just now is try and find that room that I've booked, and if I've got any battery left at all, we'll go for a wee explore tonight. We might even get a beer. Hey, this is fantastic, folks. Look at my room. I wasn't expecting this for 50 quid. And I've even got my own ensuite. Let's dump the bag and we'll go explore. What a fancy neighbourhood. I think I'll be very comfortable here tonight and all ready for whatever tomorrow brings. Right, folks, I'm quite tired after that day of travelling, but there's still about an hour's daylight left in the sky. And I did promise you would go and explore. So let's go and sample the delights of Bally Castle on a Tuesday night. Hey, this looks like a lovely wee town. Of course, as usual, we're not going to be spending much time here, but it's nice to have a wee look around. Unfortunately, the only things that are going to be open just now is pubs, but that's not a problem, is it? So there we go, exactly 11 hours after leaving the seaside at home in Montrose, we've arrived at the seaside in Ballycastle, Northern Ireland. Over behind me there we've got Rathlin Island, I think that's how you pronounce it, but that's where we're going to go tomorrow and we can explore the lighthouses, I think there's even a pub on that island. And between the island and the headland over there, you might be able to see off in the distance, that's Scotland. And weirdly, that's why we came all this way, to get an alternative view of Scotland. And tomorrow when we're at the island, I'll bring my better camera, we'll be able to zoom in a little bit, we might even see the Mullican tyre. But for now, I'm going to head back into town, get something to eat, something to drink, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Tried to get a chippy for my dinner, but I've just missed it, it closed five minutes ago. But from where I'm standing right here, I can still see one, two, Three ice cream shops still open. That's what it's all about. Cheers, guys. All the best to you. Good morning, folks. Another big day ahead of us today, and that starts with this half hour walk to the ferry. Oh, that's the pub I was at last night, by the way. And then we'll go across to Rathlin Island. There might be quite a bit of walking over there as well. And there's one place I'd really like to see on the island. I'll save that for later. It might not happen. We'll see if we get there. Now, I have heard that there's a wee bus on the island that could save us a whole lot of walking, but it does only take cash of red, so remind me to go at the cash machine, that would save the legs a bit. And I'd also like to know if Northern Ireland still issues its own banknotes. But first, let's find some coffee. Ah, uh, can't see much open down here yet this morning. I think we're going to have to have a spar breakfast. Oh, cash machine. And there's your answer. Of course they do. Hey, the spar wasn't so bad. They do proper breakfast rolls, so we are sorted. Hmm, the ferry terminal all looks a wee bit closed up, but there is this timetable. Depart Valley Castle, 9 a.m. Ah, there we go. Right. 
I just got checked in there and there was only two of us on the list. I almost had this boat to myself. Oh no, there's some more people turning up now. That's good. There's a couple of boats out to Rathlin. This is the Express, but I think there's a slower boat as well that you could take your car, maybe a bike. Welcome to Rathlin Island and I can see a bus, it's called Bert's Puffin Bus. Let's hope that can take us to the west coast. Thanks. We've got a wee bit of a problem here in that Bert's Puffin bus will only travel when there's six passengers or more and there's only two of us. The other lady who works at the bird sanctuary, she's just working on them just now, but I don't hold out much hope. <laughs> nah, it's not looking too good. That's three of us now, but still only halfway to getting that bus to move. I was planning to maybe get the bus out there and walk back because we're a wee bit limited for time today, but we'll see. Maybe we could do it the other way. Maybe we can walk to the west coast and then get the bus back. Ah, well, we had three options. Option one was to get the bus, that didn't happen. Option two, to try and get a lift, that looks unlikely. So option three, Rathlin Island, we're the essential for your van there's a little plant box on the outside. Okay, so the lady was saying it's just a big steep climb up this hill to the school. And then we just head out west. And boy, does it look a steep climb. Here we are again, folks. Adventures with Steve. Uphill edition. Okay, so the East Lighthouse, a mile and a quarter away. That's where we would get nice views out over Scotland, Mullock and Tyre. We'll try and do that a wee bit later. But the lighthouse I really want to see is the West Lighthouse. We've just got three and three quarter miles. It's not too bad as long as it's not just uphill all the way. But at this stage, it feels like it might be. Aye, it's not the flattest island I've ever walked on, but the wee lighthouse at the western tip it should be worth all this effort. You're an oh, absolute you're lifesaver. So Although you didn't turn up until I've done the school hill, so there we go. Geraldine, thank you so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> what a view from here. Yeah, it's fabulous, isn't it? Oh, wow. Am I grateful for that lift from Geraldine, who I believe manages the Seabird Centre here, because that is a hilly old route. That would have taken me hours. But anyway, we're here now at the very western tip, and the views are incredible. Right over towards the Antrim coast, and I believe the Giant's Causeway is just down there, because it's only 17 miles from Bally Castle. 
but the cliffs here, I'm not surprised the birds like it. So as you can see here, we've got a seabird centre, but also great lighthouses of Ireland. And that's what we're here to see. Very exciting. The puffins, they are all the way to sea now. We'll see them again next year. Right, I've paid my fiver at the seabird centre and we're just heading down the hill now to the lighthouse. Now, I believe there's two or three lighthouses on the island, maybe more, but there's a reason we're coming to this one. It's very unique. In fact, it's probably one of the most unique lighthouses anywhere in the UK. So here we are just behind me, the West Lighthouse. Now you get a wee bit of a hint from this angle as to why this lighthouse is so unique. Can you see what appears to be missing? Let's go and have a closer look. What a location. And that's exactly what we're looking for. A wee bit further to go though. Ah, oh, look at this, the lighthouse keeper's bedroom. It's so cozy looking. And there we are, the light, which is right at the bottom. Welcome to Northern Ireland's Upside Down Lighthouse. I see here we've got a nice wee chart of the area. So we started out in Bally Castle, we got the fast ferry right into here, and then I walked up the hill, caught a lift, and we went all the way to the west coast. Now the plan is to head back east, back to where we started, and then walk across to the very east coast, where there's another lighthouse, and we should get a nice view out towards the Mullican Tire in Scotland. Let's get going and see if we can catch that bus. Yes, the Puffin Express. Are they all for you? Yeah. Oh, no way. Thanks very much. Thanks, mate. Cheers, all the best. You see, you always come to these places early. I had a private transfer back. Look at it now. To be honest with you, before I came here, I didn't even expect there to be many buildings, never mind this beautiful little community in Harbour. There's even a gym. I think that's the pub. We'll bear that in mind for later. Right, so the East Lighthouse. I think that's the one we're looking for. It's only a mile and a half. That's no too bad. We don't need a bus for that one.
And this wee walk is made all the more easy by the fact that it's a walk home. Well, it's a walk to a view of Scotland anyway. The colours here, the purples and yellows, absolutely stunning. I'm finding it a wee bit hard to believe that I'm here, to be honest. Who would have thought when I was over at the Mullock Entire Lighthouse just a few short weeks ago that now I'd be over on the other side looking back at Scotland. These little geographical challenges, these are the ones that I love the most. If you've got any others in mind, be sure to let me know. Hey yeah. Hey, oh, you've got to be kidding me! That just blows my mind. That's as beautiful a lighthouse setting as I think I've ever seen. Right folks, it's time for a self-proclaimed, well-deserved pint. One minute. I just want to check the availability and uh, use my bonus pints. Cheers. Okay folks, we're right down literally by the sea, we're in Northern Ireland, I've had a beer, there's only one snack to have, isn't there? Dulse. If you're not familiar with dulse, it's basically just seaweed. I could have just gone and picked it myself, but I went and bought it in the co-op. The lady was saying that she absolutely hates it, but sometimes uses it for cooking, but you can just eat it straight out of the bag. So here we go, my first time trying dulse, I've found the smallest possible piece. Oh man, that's horrible. It does just taste of the sea. If I had to describe it, it's like eating seaweed. Mm, not for me, I don't think. So the rest of that bag's gonna get packaged up and taken home as a souvenir for you know who. Right, just checking the timetable here. The three o'clock ferry we're getting back is SOR, Spirit of Rathlin, so that is the car ferry. So we're getting a different boat back. I'm glad I checked that timetable because I was sure we were going back on the same boat. And the Spirit of Rathlon departs from another pier as well. So it's good to be organised and get over there in plenty of time. Alright folks, now we're back in the mainland, that's about it for today's video and it means the start of the long journey home. But I'll break it up a bit, I'll stay in Belfast tonight, and then how I get home to Scotland, well that's for another day and another video. Thanks so much for watching today, as always take care and I'll see you soon, bye bye.